friends, welcome to story time. Our story time today is all about hair. How fun is that? Miss Emily came up with that idea. All right, we will go ahead and get started. Can you put your hands up with me? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Fold them in your lap. Now it's time to read. Let's turn our listening ears on. Good job. So our first story is Hair Love. It is a super cute story. I'm excited to share it with you. My name is Zuri, and I have hair that has a mind of its own. It kinks, coils, and curls every which way. Daddy tells me it is beautiful. That makes me proud. I love that my hair lets me me be me. In funky braids with beads, I'm a princess. And when my hair is in two puffs, I am above the clouds like a superhero. My hair even does magic tricks. One day, Rocky and I were playing outside when along came the rain. From large to small it went, presto, just like that. Do you see, friends? It's raining. There is nothing my hair can't do. Today, I woke up extra early all by myself. I was too excited to sleep. It's a big day. Daddy was still sleeping. Shh, I said to Rocky as we tiptoed past him. Lately, Daddy has been worn out. He makes me breakfast, takes me to school, goes to work, picks me up, a bike ride around the park. I think he needs a break. Because today is special, I want my perfect hairstyle. This calls for a professional touch. Pause off, Rocky. Daddy heard the crash. Zuri, what on earth? He asked. Oops. I was only trying to help, I said. Daddy smiled. Can I help too? It'll be a piece of cake, Zuzu. The first style was a big no way. The second was, no, Daddy. Then Daddy tried slicking my hair back into two puffs. Boink. Ouch! Daddy yelled. Wait a minute, Daddy said as if he reached for the, as he reached for the drawer and pulled out a pick. Ta-da! Daddy, really? I said. It'll be right, I'll be right back, he promised. Now, how's that? He asked, pulling a hat down over my eyes. Daddy, come on, we can do better than that. I really need my hair to be special. Don't worry, he said, we'll figure it out. Then I had a great idea. She got out her comb. Daddy gathered all the tools we needed, and we were set. Watching carefully, Daddy combed and parted, oiled, twisted. He nailed it! Funky puff buns. Pretty, 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 and so much fun. Rocky approved, too. <laughs> I put on my superhero cape as the final touch to a perfect look. Where's my Zuzu? Mommy called from the door. She could not get in the house fast enough. Mommy! You've got to be the prettiest Supergirl I have ever seen, she said. And your hair is beautiful, Zuri. Who did it? I looked at Daddy and beamed. Mommy smiled. Very nice. Thank you. 
We learned from the best, Daddy said as he gave me a big hug, as he gave her a big hug. My hair is mommy, daddy, and me. It's hair love. <laughs> That's a super sweet book, friends. Okay, friends, we're gonna do shoe fly. Are you ready to do it with me? Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody I feel. I feel. Can you jump like, feel, a frog? Like, jumping like a frog? I feel. I feel. Jump up and down. I feel like jumping like a frog. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I Can you fly like a bird? I feel, I feel like flying like a bird. I feel, I feel, I feel like flying like a bird. Oh, shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. I feel, I feel, I feel like slithering like a snake. Can you slither? I feel, I feel. I feel like slithering like a snake. Shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Now can you crawl like a bug? I feel. I feel like crawling like a bug. Are you crawling? I feel. I feel. I feel like crawling like a bug. Shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly, don't bother me. Shoot fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. All right, friends, Miss Emily is up next. Hi, everybody. I was so excited to share this hair themed story time with you. And I love the book that Miss Carrie read, Hair Love is so amazing. We have some other ones over here too that are good recommendations for you. There is Sheep Dog and Sheep Sheep, Bad Hair Day, Princess Hair, Hair Apocalypse, and Don't Touch My Hair. And then there's the one I'm going to read to you. It's a newer book called on account of the gum. It's written and illustrated by Adam Rex. Before I read that though, let's dance our fingers up. No, dance your fingers down. Dance your fingers to the sides. Then round and round. Dance them on your shoulders. Now dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy. And put them all to bed. Nice job. All right, here comes on account of the gum. Uh-oh. Is it a good idea to chew gum in bed before you sleep? I don't think so. Okay, waking up. Uh-oh. That's the gum right there that you got in your hair. On account of the gum that you got in your hair, your dad said, sit still. And your sister said, duck. And you sat very still. Still, the scissors got stuck in the gum that you got in your hair. Okay, we went on some websites and all of them swear if you want to get scissors and gum out of hair, you take two sticks of butter and smear them along and, oh, I see. It appears that those websites were wrong. Look what's stuck now. Gum, scissors, and two sticks of butter. Don't give me that look. Is that the face you would make if you had all that stuff stuck in your hair? Your aunt said she knew how to get the gum out from this tip in a book she was reading about in the paper or something. She couldn't say where. The point is, that's why you have 
grass in your hair. Your grandpa, who said that your aunt was mistaken, is mostly to blame for the noodles and bacon. It's all in this bacony, noodly mass with the scissors, gum, hair, sticks of butter, and grass. Hmm. Your rabbit eats grass. Do you think a rabbit would work? <gasps> because of the grass that you got in your hair, I assumed that your rabbit could help us in there. Hmm. But your rabbit just sat like it thinks it's a hat. So I thought it'll leave if I bring in the cat. Is that a good idea? Or is there about to be a cat stuck in some hair? Uh-oh. I'm prepared to admit I was wrong about that. Oh, I know what to do. It's a little bit mean, but the cat always gets really scared when I clean. Just watch. She'll run off and hide under the bed if the vacuum comes anywhere close to your head. Wait, no. I'm thinking of the old cat. Do you see what's stuck in this child's hair? There is a vacuum, a cat, a bunny, noodles with bacon, grass, two sticks of butter, scissors, and gum. Your aunt just came back and she has a new take. It's cake. She thinks she can fix things with cake. Don't worry, we stopped her and showed her the door. I doubt she'll be coming around anymore. Do you think that would have been a good idea in that hair? So the cake that she made you wound up on the floor. That reminds me, happy birthday. This is not how I would want to spend my birthday. How about you friends? All right, let's get serious. This is the plan. We blow the gum out with a powerful fan. Plus, every few seconds, we'll pop a balloon, and the guy with the bees said he'd get them here soon. And oh, I hear sirens. The firemen came. They complained when we called, but they came just the same. With their hoses and one of those dogs and a cop and a big pot of chili, they're ready to... Oh, no. <gasps> Stop! Get out! Please. <sighs> Jeez. Rude. Look at the piece of gum took off on its own. <laughs> so that's the solution. Well, what do you know? Too bad about all the rest of it, though. The rest of the stuff that's still stuck in your hair. Whoop! Now your aunt is all stuck up in there. How'd that happen? Anyway, you'd better get to school. Because otherwise, you're going to miss picture day! <laughs> look at that face. Is that how you want to look for picture day? Mmm, picture day, birthday too, oh my. All on account of the gum. The end. This one really makes me laugh, you guys, and I hope it made you laugh too. And this week for our story time craft, if you grabbed a to-go kit at the beginning of the month, you'll see a drawing in there that looks something like this. It's our friend from the book. And there's lots of fun stuff in your bag too, unless you've used it for another craft, that you can add to their hair. What silly things can you draw and glue onto this picture to make some crazy hair all on account of the gum? If you find things at home, you can add those too. Miss Carrie, can you even imagine what else could possibly get caught in this hair? I'm telling you, there was a lot of stuff in that hair. There was a lot of stuff. Can you imagine? Could you draw a book caught in their hair? <laughs> the whole library caught in their hair? All kinds of silly things. So add to your picture, draw on it, and 
take a picture, post it in the comments. We would love to see your crazy hair all on account of the gum. All right, before we end story time for the day, we are going to do some silly dancing. So if you have a shaker at home like this, or if you have some pretty colorful scarves, this is a perfect song for silly dancing to use those items. All right, so the rules are you can dance however you want to, but when you hear the word freeze, you must stop, stand still. All right, here we go. Now this is called the Silly Dance Contest, where the silliest dancer is always the best. You just dance, dance, dance as silly as you please, and when the music stops, then you freeze. Dance any way you want to, dance any way you please, dance any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Hold that freeze as quiet as you can. And get ready for the Silly Dance Contest round two. Dance any way you want to, dance any way you please, dance any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. Like a statue. Now, if you look silly, you're doing great. Remember, you can make a silly face too. And this time, we're going to jump up and down okay, as high get as ready we to can. Jump. jump as high as you want to. Jump as high as you please. Jump as high as you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Stay frozen. Some people freeze with a silly face. And this time, let's dance as fast as we can. As fast as you can go. Dance as fast as you want to. Dance as fast as you please. Dance as fast as you want to. But stop when I say freeze. I told you that was fast. But now here's the hard one. Uh-oh, this one's always tricky. Dancing in slow motion. All right, here we go. You can find a partner or do a slow dance spin. Dance as slow as you want to. But get ready. But stop when I say freeze. One final round of the silly dance contest. Here we go. Dance, dance any way you want to. Dance, dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. And it ends with your arms stretched way up high. way up high. And when the music gets lower, everybody shrinks a little lower. And then lower. And lower. And lower. And all the way down. Awesome job, you guys. I miss seeing you silly dance in person. I hope you got some crazy good dance moves there. Thanks so much for joining us for story time this week. We will see you live the first Tuesday in March at 10 a.m. on Facebook. We can't wait to see you then. Bye.